I think it happened, started maybe about, what, a year ago? Probably. When someone called me and says, well, Roger wants to help uh, design a Jordan shoe. What do you think? I said, wow, it's good. I think I love it. You know, good shoe. And then they, obviously they picked the three, which is one of my favorites without a doubt. And next thing you know, you got this collab that I think, uh, you know, I think the shoe is unbelievable. I think the fans are going to love it. I must say, you know, just having you being in the world of tennis for a little bit is is incredible. I mean, you were a hero of mine growing up, you know. I'm not I used that old. To, I'm not that old, man. Uh, well, you, you know. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I used to watch it so many times. And um, 88, I was seven years old. It was when I was just starting to really follow tennis and basketball were my number one, number two sports. That's why I, I picked, you know, the, the threes. You know, when they came to me, I said, look, you know, it's not just about a style. I want Roger to get involved and understand what he needs from the shoe itself. We can create the look, you know, we can put the elephant print, we can right. put all the different, you know, the, the leather, the soft leather, all the things that we did in, in the three, but he needs to be, it needs to be functional, you know? So that was my biggest concern was, we can get it done, but I need input coming from Rogers just as much as I'm gonna have input coming, you know, talking about the three. And I think once that happened, mm -hmm. oh, it was easy. And I, I think it also would help is that we both know Tinker because Tinker designed the Vapor yeah. and Tinker designed, what, yeah. 20 of 23 Jordans? He's uh, a pain in the ass. I know he's, <laughs> he's a pain in the ass for me, so I know he's a pain in the ass for you, but he's a good pain in the right, ass. Totally. I absolutely, absolutely love so it. So I think that's also how it all just happened. 23 plus something thousand people wow. are going to be there tomorrow night. Um, so it's very special, especially daytime matches and night session matches are quite different in its energy and uh, I'm sure they're going to be unbelievably excited to see you too I mean they're going to be happy to see me but I think <laughs> because you've never been I think they're going to be more been. excited to see you especially here in New York you know how crazy the fans can be yeah, and they're it's really incredible it's a, it's a great crowd here you know obviously when the shoot showcases tomorrow from an appearance standpoint I know you're going to be the best looking tennis player out there so <laughs> that to me I'm not worried about it's more or less about the performance and at the end of the day I want to see the top notch right. athleticism coming from the, you know, the athlete that's wearing the product I'm excited about tomorrow but I'm a little nervous too because I've never been in a tennis match and I don't want to put any added pressure on you tomorrow. <laughs> so you better go out there and do what you're supposed to do it because I'm excited about it. No, because the, wa the watching, I think, is the hardest part. I think the performing itself, yeah. you know what you're doing, you're in control. Once you're out there, you just It's go. fine, you know, yeah, exactly. Know. You, you deal with it. But the watching part, you just feel you have no control. None. It's, it's uncomfortable, but I can tell I'll try everything I can. <laughs> I try to come through and that, uh, who knows, maybe I can wear them a second time around. It'd I be, hope it'd so. Be great. If you win, yeah. you better wear them again. Yeah. No, I'm... I'm feeling good about my chances, you know, but, but still, it's the first round and you don't want to underestimate anybody. That's true. And it's, it's nice you're right. coming. You're right.